मेक रक्षा बंधन मेमोरेबल कैट सिस्टर्स टू वॉलेंटेरली गिव अप देयर राइट्स सेड अ लेटर बाय दिलीप सिंह प्रजापति अ तहसीलदार इन दिगोर तहसील राजस्थान ऑन रक्षा बंधन दिस ईयर वुमेंस ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस हैव कंडेम्ड द स्टेटमेंट कॉलिंग इट अबनॉक्शियस दे हैव डिमांडेड इमीडिएट सस्पेंशन ऑफ द तहसीलदार व्हाट इज अ वुमेंस राइट इन हर एंसेस्ट्रल प्रॉपर्टी अंडर द हिंदू सक्सेशन एक्ट 1956 In 2005 the amendment of the Hindu Succession Act allowed daughters to inherit an equal share in their father's property also known as corpus senary rights before 2005 it was only granted to sons not daughters Kerala was the first state in 1975 to have abolished this discrimination by doing away with the Hindu joint family system altogether Andhra Pradesh Karnataka Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu too made changes in the law before 2005 but the discriminatory clause for agriculture land awarded to sons remained a three judge panel headed by justice arun mishra in the case vinita sharma versus rakesh sharma 2020 ruled that a daughter's inheritance rights are absolute that is free of any condition the court also ruled that the daughter's children could also demand a share in that inheritance even if she passed away before 2005 let us look at the status of married women seeking property rights in marital homes The status of a corpusana's wife who is a member of a Hindu undivided family remains the same. Wives only have rights of maintenance and cannot seek a part in their husband's property. But if a husband dies without making a will, a widow has legal heir status to his property. We must note that all these rights are for Hindu women. Muslim and Christian women's laws are different and need to be understood separately. Since women receive valuable gifts during their wedding, dowry and festivals, it is believed that they must give up any claim to parental property. Women who do claim their rights are often faced with a legal war with the family. They are banned from visiting their parental village and suffer a falling out with their family. This patriarchal strategy is ensured in customs. but a woman is entitled to the properties of both her husband and her father it is ironic that women are expected to bring property from paternal homes but are not given any legitimate share of ancestral property indian economist bina agarwal says despite equality in inheritance laws only a small percentage of women own land in rural land owning households globally it is known that women owning land would enhance their well being improve children's health and education reduce domestic violence raise farm productivity increase family food security and empower women socially and politically women with assets such as land have greater bargaining power leading to gender equal allocations of benefits even from male incomes neither the agricultural census nor the nsso surveys on ownership holdings account for gender ownership figures We urgently need more gender-based data on land ownership and innovative policies to increase women's actual ownership. The problem is fathers fear losing control over land if given to married daughters. Daughters fear damaging family relations if they claim their shares. Policy makers say they fear land fragmentation. Notably, despite vast numbers of women joining the ongoing protests against farm laws, we hear barely a whisper about their claims in family land. Thank <laughs> you.